Interesting over at Reddit. Power 5 teams visiting G5 teams. Now, what I just said about Power 5 teams playing, or, or G5 teams as well, whoever, FBS teams playing FCS teams. Incredibly important to the ecosystem of college football. This, however, on the other side, maybe not so much, right? Power 5 teams that are traveling to visit G5 teams. If you are a big enough program, a big enough brand, there is absolutely no reason for you to do this, especially if you're a team that is trying to make a bowl game, etc. If that is your version of success, there's no reason for you to do this. And yet, here we are. Uh, let's see, Carmel's own here. He said, uh, during the end of the season CFP debate, a topic often brought up is G5 schools' difficulty to increase their strength of schedule because P5 schools won't go to their place. I thought it would be interesting to count up those instances for this coming season where that happens. I did not count Notre Dame or BYU as G5s, nor did I count neutral site games. So let's look at week zero and week one. You got Vandy going to Hawaii, NC State going to East Carolina. Now, NC State, East Carolina makes sense. That's a that's a game that's been going on for a while. It's not played every single year, but it is in state. It does kind of make sense, right? Arizona heading to San Diego State. That's a... Uh, a contract game they have gone back and forth on. North Carolina going to App State. That is, again, an in-state matchup. Very strange for a brand as big as North Carolina to go play at App State. Virginia Tech plays at Old Dominion in Week 1 as well. That's another in-state game. You know, does do the state governments have anything to do with this? Maybe. Uh, it just doesn't seem smart for teams like Virginia Tech and North Carolina to have to go on the road. It just makes it that much more difficult to win. Week two, Louisville going to UCF. Again, that's another game. That's another series that they contracted out. Maryland going to Charlotte. Again, what are you doing, ACC? Why would why is Maryland going to Charlotte? I mean, it makes no sense. Colorado at Air Force. Um, okay, that's in-state. Again, uh, you know, strange. Oregon State going to Fresno State. Uh, another series that was contracted. North Carolina going to Georgia State. Okay, again, North Carolina, that's two straight weekends that you're going to play against pretty good uh, Sunbelt teams. Week three, Kansas at Houston, Rutgers at Temple, Vandy at Northern Illinois, and then Pitt going to Western Michigan. I think that was part of a two-for-one, if I'm not mistaken, but we'll, we'll figure it out. If you're Pitt, why would you ever go to Western Michigan? That is a good question, right? Uh, Kansas at Houston, that, that makes sense. Houston's about to be a, a P5 member anyway at P5, if that's even the thing anymore. Rutgers at Temple, that one kind of makes sense. Vandy at Northern Illinois, okay, like I, I get those. Week four, you've got Indiana at Cincinnati. Again, that one makes sense. TCU at SMU, that's a rivalry game, played home and home every year. Georgia Tech at UCF. Again, UCF, another one of those where it does kind of make sense, especially if you are a lower-end team like Georgia Tech. However, again, I've mentioned this so many times, it feels like Georgia Tech is trying to get their coach fired. <laughs> it's, the schedule is absurd. But regardless, going total games by conference, ACC has seven, the Big 12 has two, Big 10 has three, Pac-12 three, the SEC two, and both of those are Vanderbilt. The AAC seven, it's the USA one, uh, MAC two, Mountain West four, and Sunbelt three. Now, it, it makes sense for all of the G5 school or G5 conferences. I just don't get... Why in the world some of these teams are playing on the road at a G5 school? Pitt, North Carolina twice. Why is Maryland going to Charlotte? I mean, I can understand from a recruiting standpoint, but like you don't have to do that anymore. I don't know if these guys understand. Like You don't have to go to these places and play against a G5 team in order to recruit there. Just saying. I mean, good gracious, what are we, what are we even doing anymore? Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.